Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to get file names from Windows folders with Power Query. So what does that mean? Let's say for example that you have a folder and there's a bunch of subfolders and you want to get the file names uh, out of these subfolders. As you can see, there are a bunch of other file names that are in subfolders. So you can see we have these here. And we want to get something like this out of that and put it into an Excel spreadsheet where we have our folder path, maybe the name, the extension, the date created, and the size of that particular file. And it's actually pretty easy to do with Power Query. If you didn't have Power Query, you probably would have to write a script in um, Windows, maybe some kind of a DOS script, and pull it out. I do have another video where it shows you how you can do something similar to that, but with Power Query, it just makes it a lot easier. So let's see how it's done. So here we have a blank worksheet in Excel, and this is Excel 2016. So Power Query is already part of Excel 2016. If you didn't have Power Query, and yet Excel's version uh, 2013 and less, you probably would have to download Power Query and enable it. Uh, download it from Microsoft.com and just enable it on Excel. But if we had it, this is what we would do. Go under Data, and then under New Query, I will select from file and then from folder. I'll go ahead and browse for the folder that I want to get my files out of. So I find my folder and I'll click OK and click OK here. And Excel, the Power Excel Power Query is going to look up the attributes of the file. You can see that uh, there's information here in this file. I'll just click edit and it's going to bring up the Power Query editor. We're just going to do some manipulation here, take out some columns that we don't need, and add in some columns that we do need. So, I out of the attributes column, all I need is the file size. As you can see, as I select that, this particular icon here, it's going to expand it. And you can see there's a bunch of different attributes that we can download or get. All I need is a size, so I'm going to deselect everything and just check the size and click OK and it's going to bring back the size and I'm going to remove some of the other ones that I don't need like I don't need content I just press the control key and select the other ones I don't need date access I don't need date modified and I can just go under remove columns here and click it and it'll remove those columns I'm also going to move the folder path here this particular column I'm going to move it as the first column here and now I see I have my folder path, I have my name, my extension, my date created and attribute size. And I'll just go under home and click close and load. And it's going to load it as a new worksheet in Excel. It's going to go through its gyrations and load it. And you can see now under this particular folder, the advanced dash filter folder, I've got three different file, three different uh, files. And here are the extensions. You can see that kind of repeats this particular column here on the extensions. Let's close this workbook queries. And if all I wanted to do is just look at Excel files for the, this moment, I can just click on the drop down and just select Excel files. And I'll have list all the Excel files that I have in the uh, Excel folder. And the subfolders here will tell you which ones I have it in. So there's the way that we can get uh, file names from folders or subfolders using Power Query. It's actually pretty simple. It used to be a little bit more involved in getting that. We wanted, let's say we wanted to do an inventory of our files, but now with Power Query, it makes it so much easier. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.